Hi! In this video I'm going to show you how to use rubber bands and pinky cups to make it easier to hold the bow. First thing you're going to want to do is go out to your home improvement store and get yourself some half inch tubing. It looks like this. And it's just the right size to put your pinky in. About like that. So you can kind of test it out even in the store make sure it fits your pinky. Then you cut about a one inch section like that. And then you take a really good pair of scissors and you cut slits into the side. Looks like that. Kind of looks like a tooth with two sides hanging down like that. And then you just take that uh, little bit of cut tube and slide it on the end of your frog, like that. And you want to line it up more or less with the end of the frog so that it's back here where the pinky is supposed to be. Now, of course, that's still kind of going to slide around, so we want to take a piece of tape and stick it into place. I use uh, black duct tape. I think it has uh, a nice hold to it without leaving a big gummy residue. And there's your pinky cup. So it is going to help to hold your pinky in place because what we don't want is certainly we don't want the finger to be out here on the screw. And we really don't want a straight pinky shape. We want it to be rounded. So the cup helps to hold it in place and uh, to give that nice curve to it this way. Okay. Now a lot of times students have trouble getting that round pinky because their fingers are too far up on the stick this way. They're pinching the stick. And look, the pinky can't even reach. So we want to get the fingers around so that the fingers are flat against the frog of the bow, sort of hugging the bow. So uh, in order to make it easy so you can set it and forget it, you can take a rubber band. Now I'm just going to thread the rubber band uh, between the stick and the hair like this and get it even. There we go. And loop one end of the rubber band around the screw and then you loop the other rubber band the other side of the rubber band, around the other side of the screw. And you're left with uh, the rubber band going flat across the frog this way. Now, um, so when you set your bow hold, you're going to hang, roll, and you're going to set just the uh, ring finger underneath one of the rubber bands, okay? And we only want to put it over the fingernail. We don't want to put it up over the skin of the finger because, first of all, that would just be too far. We don't want the finger so far down that it's sticking out below the frog of the bow. So just center the finger so that it's uh, in the middle of the frog and the rubber band goes right across the fingernail so that it's comfortable, it's not cutting off circulation, and it helps to hold the pinky in the right shape this way. So the pinky is round, the fingers are loose and flexible, and we're hugging the bow instead of pinching it. Okay, also take care always that the thumb is rounded out, and uh, or the thumb is on the stick of the bow, not underneath the, the frog of the bow, unless you're, you know, maybe a, a very young beginner might do that, but usually we place the thumb just outside the frog of the, of the bow on the stick. Okay, so there is rubber band and pinky cup for violins and violas. Now let's say you play the cello and uh, you might have the habit of flip-flopping your hand backwards. That's a really common problem for cello players. So what you can do is uh, cut all but one side of the pinky cup off, uh, cut, cut it down so there's only one little piece hanging down. And then you place that right against the flat part of the frog so that instead of being up on the top like the violins and violas do, your ring fing the ring of your pinky cup is going to be down the side. So then you get a piece of tape and you tape that in place. It's a little bit more tricky because there's not as much uh, there's not as much of the, the plastic hanging down. But you tape that in place like that so that when you make your bow hold, your fingers, your pinky goes down into the pinky cup on the side of the bow and it helps to anchor your pinky without uh, without letting you slip around and, and slide. Okay, so we want to keep that ring finger more or less perpendicular to the um, to the frog of the bow and the, um, the, the middle two fingers, the second and third finger are kind of straddling the ferrule. The index finger has a little bit of a lean to it and of course again the thumb is rounded out. So there you go. You have ring finger, uh, you have pinky cups and rubber bands to help with your bow hold. Really, really important stuff that's going to help uh, playing to become so much easier and you're going to sound so much more professional. Good luck.